So before I start this movie review, I just want to give a big shout out to IMDb, where I get all my information and fun facts from. What's up, everyone? Movie Mania Nick here with another movie review. Actually, another Christmas movie review. This time, the movie is How the Grinch Stole Christmas, which came out in 2000. This is the live-action film. It starred Jim Carrey, Taylor Momsen, Kelly, who was Max the dog, Jeffrey Tambor, Bill Irwin, and Molly Shannon, and the director was Ron Howard. So this movie is basically about on the outskirts of Whoville lives a green, revenge-seeking Grinch who plans to ruin Christmas for all of the citizens of the town. Now, I've seen this film numerous times, and I absolutely enjoy this film. I remember when this film first came out, I actually saw it twice in the movie theater. That's how good it was. And every year, I've watched it since. It's a great film. I really enjoy it. Jim Carrey is amazing as the Grinch. He is hysterical. Absolutely hysterical. With his comedy acts, his body language, with his facial expressions, it's hysterical. And it actually kind of reminds me of watching one, uh, The Three Stooges. Their slapstick comedy. This, this is basically what it was. It was a slapstick comedy from Jim Carrey. And of course, you know, this movie is based on the book and the animated uh, version of the TV. I wouldn't call it a film. But because it's like 30 minutes long. So but it's it's based on it. But for a movie, they made I think it was almost two hour film. So they put it they they did put in a lot of backstory of the Grinch in this film, of how he became the Grinch and why. And I think they did a tremendous job of doing that. But between the actors, the storyline, the cine cinematography, the CGI, the special effects was absolutely amazing. And yes, in this film, there is some adult humor and comedy in this film. Uh, the adults will get it, of course, but the kids will not because they're too young and they won't understand. But it is a funny, fun, family-friendly movie. Um, I highly recommend to see this film. You could probably see it on Hulu, Demand, Netflix, Amazon, whatever else is out there. And if you own the DVD, even better. And now it's time for fun facts, and there is quite a few of these, so stay tuned. According to Rick Baker, the prosthetic makeup Jim Carrey wore took about two hours to apply and one hour to remove. It is rumored that Carrey felt so confined and uncomfortable in the latex skin that he sought out counseling from a CIA agent who taught him torture-resistant techniques. Man, say that five times fast. <laughs> the line, 6.30 p.m., dinner with me, I can't cancel that again, was improvised by Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey sang a few verses of the signature song, You're a Mean One, Mr. Grinch. The Grinch suit is covered in yak hair, which was dyed green and sewn onto a spandex suit. The Whoville set was built mostly on the back lot of Universal Studios behind the Bates Motel. And this is what's interesting about this part. Jim Carrey surprised and scared tourists by running out of the hotel, wearing a dress and carrying a knife in the Grinch costume. Sir Anthony Hopkins recorded all of the narration for this movie in one day. Okay, so there is a scene in the film where the Grinch purposely 
is supposed to knock over silverware and he uh, does the does the table trick. But the thing is, when he did it, he pulled the sheet off the table. The he did it. Jim Carrey did it so perfectly. The silverware stayed the same, which is why he went back and messed it all up. I found that pretty interesting. I I never knew that. This was the top selling movie ticket of 2000. 50 million sold. There were 40,000 computer generated trees in the opening shot sequence. The Jim Carrey's accent in The Grinch is based off Sean Connery. Mount Crumpet is 3,000 feet high. The film was originally going to be filmed on a green screen stage with CGI sets added in post production. Mount Crumpet and Whoville are based on Dr. Seuss's real life hometown in Springfield, Massachusetts. Mount Crumpet is based on Mount Tom, a 1,202 feet peak that overlooks the town of East Hampton. Audrey Geisel, or Gazelle, the widow of Dr. Seuss, suggested Jim Carrey for the title role. She also suggested Jack Nicholson, Dustin Hoffman, and Robin Williams. Jim Carrey actually contorts his face muscles to get the Grinch's sinister grin. It is not prosthetic. Eddie Murphy, Tom Hanks, and Tim Curry were considered to play the Grinch. Max, the male dog, was played by Kelly, a female dog. Max was originally going to be a CGI dog. Many of the Grinch's lines were ad-libbed by Jim Carrey. 600 visual effects were used in this film, totaling 43 minutes of screen time. When the Grinch drove the little car, Jim Carrey said that it was really hard to drive it, and it took him forever to get the feel of the car. And that's it, guys. That is my Christmas movie review for How the Grinch Stole Christmas, which came out in 2000. I hope you guys enjoyed that. As usual, smash that like button, support, share, hit that notification bell, notify my, ne my next video or vlog will be up. Also, check me out on Instagram under the same name, Movie Mania Nick. And remember, stay safe, be excellent to each other, and party on, dudes, and have a nice holiday.